Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is January 3rd, 2018, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, we're starting out with United Kingdom construction PMI number. And that surely will affect the GBP, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. We also have two U.S. numbers, ISM manufacturing PMI number coming out at 5 p.m. South African time. And at 9 p.m., we have FOMC meeting minutes coming out of the United States as well. Now, the last two numbers coming out in the United States, not that important, um, but these numbers you just should just be aware of. The big number coming out for the week is non-farm payroll, and that's, of course, on Friday. So we'll take a look in that as well as the week follows. But let's see what's been happening in the markets for the first week of January 2018. So we're looking here at the Euro USD, and as you can see, we hit this pivot line of 120.70-ish level, and we corrected ourselves. We could not sustain the rally, and we're correcting ourselves right here. But I wouldn't give this up so quickly to say that it's um, it's going to correct itself back to the low 19 or 1800s. It may just correct itself just a little bit before we do break it out because it did have a lot of uh, – a continuity okay in this trade a lot of volume a lot of follow-through it didn't just happen on one day but it was consecutively challenging the this upper limit so I would imagine actually that this would retrace a little bit and then break out on the upside but let's see if that does for it looking at the GBP USD finally catching up okay and breaking this 135 35 ish level okay as you can see here all right, so we broke this 135, 35-ish level, and we're challenging this 136, but we did not break it. Okay, so altogether, catching up to the Euro USD, um, as it has characteristically of late been the lagger between the Euro USD and the GBP USD. Looking at the Aussie USD, also correcting itself a little bit here, as you can see, but nothing, no big retracement. Okay, we're just hit. We're just flirting with the 14 moving average day, so nothing really. No big retracements, but you know this can correct itself because we've had a massive rally going into the end of the year, as you can see. Looking at gold, gold also retraced a little bit, okay, about six, seven points, but that's nothing to uh, write home about because we've had this massive rally of this 1241 up to 1321, okay, and we did say that this would continue, and it's it's a nice continuation. It's a sharp rally, okay, and also sustaining itself. So. You know, it may just follow with the euro of just retracing a little bit and continuing its trend up. So let's see if that does follow through. Now, looking at oil not retracing $60 a barrel, and we're still up on this upper limit of just below the 6120-ish level. So just keep an eye on this as this unfolds later today and going into the uh, inventory numbers going tomorrow. Stockpiles in the United States are getting low and therefore driving the prices up higher. Looking at the Dow Jones, we're only about 70 points off of our all-time highs. <clears throat> so we had a nice rally yesterday, a 100-point rally. But this is really indicative of a just a bear market, as you can see right here, looking at a one-hour chart. It's just so choppy, okay, and so volatile. I mean, these are levels that are – you know, unprecedented, okay, 24, 25,000 is a big level, okay, so for it to trade within an intraday of 100 to 200 points is minuscule, okay, because in, you know, back in the 1990s, it was trading within a 100-point move, and, and the Dow Jones was only about 8, 9, 10,000, okay, but here we're in 24,000, you know, for it to move 100 points per day is really a not non issue okay as you can see here with the rsi at the bottom we look like we're flatlining here but let's see if we do continue this uptrend and break out higher as the week progresses and we get into the non-farm payroll this friday so keep an eye on that now the dax finally you know bounced yesterday okay after retracing and selling off sharply to 12750 we're trading now at 12912 and it has a resistance of 12922 so just keep an eye on that if it doesn't follow through and break above it we may see it continue this downwards trend so keep an eye on that as as that unfold, unfolds throughout the week looking at the Johannesburg stock exchange a little bit of a retracement here at 53,500 ish level but altogether it has a nice run after the ANC elections as we discussed that so you know really no real pivot place to really say okay this is a you know potential correctional place because you know we're at an charter territory so let's see if we do continue to sell off here and making this minor resistance level that we're at right now this is Fred Razak I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you